Boyan Connections was developed as a, as a connection between um, Croatia, Lithuania, uh, Hungary and also Dresden because there's a river as a connection, as, a, as an idea, as a European idea of course. It's a um, very interesting um, fact or coincidence, I don't know how to call it, that we all the curators have, have somehow a relationship to this particular part of the history which makes country be Eastern European country. Flowing Connections is about doing exhibitions. Uh, first, a big exhibition here in Dresden, Germany, in the Australia Biennale 2021, uh, where we are exhibiting artworks selected by curators from these four countries. But the artists are not only from these four countries, but from the whole region, and sometimes from all over the world, because we also have an open call. Wir sind eigentlich vier verschiedene Institutionen, die alle immer ihr eigenes Ding gemacht haben auf dieser Welt und sehr intensiv im Kunstbetrieb unterwegs waren. Und wir lernen uns gerade neu kennen. Das ist wie eine kleine Hochzeit, die man eingeht, gemeinsam für die nächsten drei Jahre. Und das ist ein sehr sensibler Part. Wir werden uns viel bestimmt auch streiten, auch streiten müssen, um gemeinsam eine Sache zu machen. This material that we have collected is going to travel as well to uh, Budapest for a smaller exhibition. We will also have a quite bigger exhibition in Kaunas during the European Capital of Culture year. This program is also complemented by an artistic residence program where invited artists from these four countries are going to work on shipping containers that will be then exhibited in all four countries, so Croatia included. We are also organizing a series of workshops for uh, the employees of these organizations which touch on different uh, very important topics connecting to these exhibitions. For example, digital cultural management, also audience development and uh, art education, and also the integration and inclusivity towards people with disabilities. For me, seeing the building yesterday, the Robotron Cantina was important because in the last 10 years I have been developing the project which is very much based on the existing but let's say dead building. In these uh, days today they lost their function and they lost their meaning in the society because today's society needs different kind of buildings and different kind of um, role of these buildings. So actually the big question all over Europe is uh, what to do with these buildings and how to activate them. In unserem Stadtteil hier in Übigau ist ganz nah die Stadtentwässerung und wiederum die Stadtentwässerung ist ein Thema, was das Wasser betrifft und das Wasser und die Umwelt und die ökologische, nachhaltige Betrachtung auf das ganze Thema Klima und Umwelt. Es wird das, das Thema auch für die nächste Australe sein, wo wir jetzt gerade uns thematisch noch inhaltlich fokussieren und finden. Aber das Wasser selber ist das übergreifende Thema bis Kaunas. Deswegen ist natürlich die Stadtentwässerung ein willkommener Partner, erstens unser Nachbar und zweitens willkommener Partner, um das Thema inhaltlich nochmal aus der wissenschaftlichen Sicht zu betrachten. It is really a pleasure to see that uh, with the help of the European Union uh, we are able to get funding uh, to present these artworks in a truly independent way without any political influence whatsoever on uh, what works we are selecting, what works we are presenting. Egy nemzetközi kontextus az mindig feloldja a, a, a nemzeti zárványokat, és ilyen értelemben szeretném ezt az Osztrál Biennálit, illetve a hozzá kapcsolódó kiállítás sorozatot leginkább tekinteni. There is a lot of things to learn, I think, still in this process, also about the city, about the general context. So I'm really much looking forward to this. And I'm, what to say, in a way it's very familiar to me because it's the way things are. We are meeting, we are selecting, we are discussing and so on. But then, like the fact that we are here in Dresden, in Germany, changes totally the perspective. Yeah. Woo!